Hey, hello everybody, welcome back to another reading. Today we're taking a look at the case of Jared Michael Negretti, who disappeared on July 19th of 1991. Now, according to Wikipedia, Negretti had gone with his fellow Boy Scouts on a camping trip, which was the first trip he would spend overnight. He somehow got separated from his group, likely after falling behind and then going off on the wrong trail. Negretti was last seen wearing Boy Scout pants with a tan color t-shirt, possibly a Boy Scout style t-shirt, and with black high top tennis shoes. When a search was conducted to find Negretti, 12 snapshots were developed from a camera that was discovered that may have belonged to him. Most pictures of the film strip depicted the surrounding landscape, while the last image was a close-up of Jared's face. Only his eyes and nose were visible in the photograph. The 19-day search combed the area of the 11,500-foot Mount San Gorgonio. Shoe prints were found at about 10,000 feet, matching those of Negretti. Also found was his backpack, as well as some beef jerky and candy wrappers but Negretti himself could not be located. In 2001, Jared's father, Felipe Negretti, became involved with a case of another hiker who got lost in the same area, a 16-year-old boy named William Parvin. So while his own son was no longer able to be found, he was out there helping other people find their son, which is good and sad at the same time. In any case, we don't really know what happened to him. There are some people who say that he was not able to make it up to the summit of the mountain and therefore was told by the leader of the group that he should stay on the trail and wait for them to come down. I don't see anything about that in the Wikipedia article. I saw that in a YouTube comment on another video, so I'm not entirely sure how true that is. In any case, somebody asked if I could do a tarot reading on Jarrett, and that's what we're going to do today. We're going to start off with the Wise Dog Tarot, which is currently on the table. And for any further questions, moving on to the Terra Mucha, which is this one. So without much further ado, I'm just going to start shuffling the deck. As soon as I have about a screen full of cards, we're going to stop and take a look. So let's get started. Okay, we're starting off with the Seven of Wands, followed by the Five of Pentacles, and then Temperance in reverse. So what I heard of Jared's story was that he was unable to keep up with his fellow scouts on the way up. And uh, there are stories that say that the, the leader said, okay, just wait here, we're going to go to the summit, and then we're going to come back down, and we'll pick you up, and we'll go back down together. And that he was supposed to wait there. Not entirely sure if that is true or not. Some people say it is, some people say it's not, but it kind of looks like there was at least a challenge here. Something was really challenging him, followed by the Five of Pentacles, which is kind of like a bankruptcy thing. You're running out of resources, and then Tempest in reverse. So this kind of looks like uh, he was challenged, first of all, to get up that uh, hill, which he had trouble doing and perhaps also challenged in the way i feel this is more of a challenge of uh other people kind of like making fun of him because he wasn't able to keep up maybe and the five of pentacles in this case uh resembling more him feeling really bad about the fact that he had to wait there that he wasn't able to put in as much resources as the next person and the uh, thing itself the card says animal shelter so he may have felt like him waiting along the trail was almost like him being abandoned and left behind and he was not happy with that at all which we can see with temperance in reverse so i'm thinking that he is feeling uh, left behind and this is definitely not making him feel very good about a situation 
and he probably lost his cool as a result of that. Next, we have the Nine of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Knight of Cups in reverse. So that's interesting energy. I feel like this is the part where he decides that he's going to go and uh, take care of himself or take action into his own hands, feeling really good about himself because the Nine is like a me-centered, focused type of card. The individual in this case is feeling pretty good about themselves. So I think that they thought that they would be able to do things on their own. The king energy is definitely somebody who feels like they are in control. And in this case, it's the king cups. Maybe he felt like he had conquered a fear or conquered some type of emotional distress or uh, perhaps the uh, ill-temperedness from before and now was taking matters into his own hands. Uh, Knight of Cups over here is kind of like disregarding perhaps certain feelings that he may have had. Normally Knight of Cups is somebody who is focused very much on their own internal world, uh, doesn't tend to uh, keep other people's feelings in um, perspective too much, kind of just like focusing on themselves, not necessarily in a selfish manner, but more like just not being able to see anything else, just like you can see the dog has a cup on its nose and that's pretty much all it's gonna be able to see and the heart is inside the cup. So focusing on their own heart, on how they feel about things. But I think in, in this case, it's more of an ignoring certain feelings that they may have had, like certain feelings of trepidation, perhaps, uh, may also have uh, ignored how other people may have felt coming down the mountain and not being able to find him where they left him. So kind of like ignoring any like red flags or something along those lines that came up as he was uh, going on his adventure, I think that he took matters into his own hands here and uh, just uh, didn't stop to think how other people might feel about it. And maybe also just kind of felt a little restless as well in the location where he was at. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Ace of Wands in reverse, and then we have the Knight of Swords. All right, so he is on his way, setting out on his own little journey here. First Knight of Pentacles in reverse, that is definitely taking actions without considering the consequences too much. Uh, possibly also a little bit foolhardy is the word that's coming up uh, for me right now. Ace of Wands is uh, the same but times 10 in this case because it's the Wands energy like the Wands card and it's in reverse like the new initiative that he's taken is a bad one. Like the Knight of Pentacles is a bad investment, like he's just wasting his time, perhaps he's also eating food that he probably should have kept for longer, something along those lines, just kind of like uh, in a similar vibe as the Knight of Cups on the top row, just not really taking anything into consideration. Possibly, like I said, foolhardiness, just kind of not really thinking about the negative consequences that could result from his actions and the things that he should have probably kept on him. Just not really thinking about that at all. Not thinking about the future and what possibly uh, trouble he might encounter and therefore just using whatever resource he has uh, in the moments. Ace of Wands is making the wrong decisions. Uh, this is a dog that tends to bark a lot, I think. Uh, he may have uh, thoughts that he had a similar energy to him at that point, like the small dogs that think that they're really big and therefore can handle anything. Uh, I think that's kind of what we're seeing here as well, just taking initiatives that they probably shouldn't have and thinking that they're going to be okay. Uh, we have here the Knight of Swords upright. Uh, swords are words and thoughts and also logic in this case. I'm thinking that he was taking a few too many logical leaps and bounds. Maybe he thought for instance, that he knew a way to get back to camp faster. Uh, you can see this Knight of Swords also running through the water here with the wind chasing him down in the background. Uh, I'm thinking that they had a lot of enthusiasm in this moment and they very enthusiastically probably made the wrong choices on the way down, possibly didn't take the path that they also took on the way up, thinking, like I said, that maybe they have found a shortcut or, oh, if I just go this way and follow that path, then for sure I'm gonna go somewhere where I end up need to be and maybe I can be back in the camp before they even come back down the summit, that type of thing. Like just making some very quick decisions that probably were not for the best. Now this is um, the Eight of Swords 
and then we have the Wheel of Fortune, followed by the Six of Swords in Reverse. I'm kind of pausing here, because it's kind of usually something negative, the Eight of Swords, in the sense of they feel trapped, but I'm also getting a bit of a vibe that they were just stuck in their mindsets, that they were still like very much in belief that they were going to be okay. But then we have here the Wheel of Change, so the wheel, or the wheel of Fortune, and that means change. So I'm thinking that at this point, this is the first time that he's got an inkling that things may not be quite what he uh, thought they were. This may be the point where perhaps the night settles in, because he was out there at night, according to the, uh, the photos that they found of him, which remind me a lot of those two girls that got lost in the jungle as well. They were also taking a lot of pictures with the flash on, and uh, his pictures were also similarly taken in the dark with the flash on. And then the last one was his own face, also taken with the flash on. I think things are not going well. Probably still thinking that he's doing the right thing, but he's going in the wrong direction because we have here the Six of Swords, which is normally like a, a person sitting in a boat being uh, ferried by somebody else, um, letting the people guide you where they feel you need to be, but I think that in this case he feels like he's not able to find the path that he wanted and it's taken in places where he doesn't want to go. He's also not really turning around to try and find his way back. He's just kind of like possibly, I feel like this is making wrong decision upon making wrong decision, like going down a path and then uh, ending up at a fork, for instance, and going, I, don't, I wasn't supposed to be here. Where am I going to go now? Okay, well, if I take this right fork over here, I'm probably going to go head back towards where I need to be. Just constantly making decisions like that and therefore constantly uh, heading down the wrong path further and further. Let's see what else we can find. Uh, what happens next? Oh, a couple of cards down here. We have the two of, no, this is not the two of anything. This is the High Priestess. Then we have the Nine of Wands and the Seven of Wands. And this is the Moon. So the High Priestess in reverse, which is similar to what I just said, just not really taking a moment to look inward and just kind of rushing ahead, not stopping to think. Uh, too clearly we are getting tired here with the nine of wands so we're definitely having some weirdness setting in and then we have the seven of wands in reverse again so this is a point where i feel like the seven of wands energy that was started off here is now coming home to roost like over here on the top he was still feeling like people were coming for him for the wrong reasons but over here it almost seems like he's feeling like they were right like oh no uh, actually all those people who thought that i couldn't make it maybe they're right about that and then we have here so there's like a lot of self-doubt here the moon in reverse so there's definitely things hidden from him uh certain information that he's missing and just not able to grasp and uh, he's really feeling uh, literally up in the creek without a paddle at this point which is very sad so he is lost confused and tired at this stage let's see what else we can find oh, there's that one two of wands let me just grab that so the two of wands is uh, looking or to make some plans to go places i think he's trying to orient himself at this point I feel like this this might be the part where he takes out his camera and starts shooting pictures because he's trying to get his bearings, I feel. This person's overlooking uh, the landscape. They've got a globe in their hand, like they're trying to read a map and uh, also looking out across the land to see if they can see any matches between the map and what they see around them. So they're definitely trying to find their way here. Here and one that landed on my lap. Okay, this is the Queen of Cups, but let's first grab these guys. This looks like the King of Cups. Alright, we have both the uh, the Royals for the Cups here right now. But that's one. We have the Sun Reverse, we have the Four of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. Alright, so we have both of these. I'm thinking that he may at this point with these two 
be uh, feeling uh, lost and alone. It almost seems like they're remembering or fondly remembering or trying to remember the advice of their parents or other people whom they feel very closely connected to because the cup's energy, of course, is emotions. Uh, they may have uh, longed for the mother at some point. The king of cups is in reverse, so I'm very curious about that. Maybe that they feel like their father may have been angry with them or something along those lines. It kind of looks that way because both royals are here. One of them is positive and the other is negative in the sense that it's in reverse. So he may have had some time to consider his parents and how they may feel about him in that moment. Uh, the sun is going down, could be literally, could also just be that his energy is fading, his enthusiasm is definitely fading, his emotions are very negative at this point. And now we are looking at the Four of Pentacles where we have to preserve our resources. So now we are looking at uh, what we have left in our backpack and what can we do with it, how long will this uh, last me like they found candy wrappers and beef jerky so he didn't eat the beef jerky so he may have been trying to hold on to that for later possibly i'm also curious why he didn't take his backpack with him so maybe something else happened later that uh separated him from his stuff and the camera as well but in any case at this point he is definitely trying to uh, balance his resources uh, we see here the six of wands in reverse so he is now also not feeling very good about himself losing faith because normally the six of wands is like the hero card hero being uh hailed by the people around them but i think that he feels really really bad about himself and his circumstances at the moment so now he's kind of like chastising himself about the situation that he's brought himself into i feel and um trying to hold on to whatever he can find and possibly also trying his best to use whatever skills he learned at the Boy Scouts with this Two of Wands. What else can we see? What happens next? Oh, oh okay. Got several here. This one fell first. All right, Queen of Pentacles. All right, so now we're being very practical at this point. Just trying to be very practical. I'm seeing a lot of plants around them as well. So it's almost like they're trying to recognize uh, bushes and things around them that may be edible or something. I don't know if they ever were taught something about foraging in the Boy Scouts, but I think he may have tried something like that. This is strength in reverse. So his strength is fading. And this looks like death. Yep, there we go. And then we have the Two of Cups. All right, so. Now I said there we go with death, but I don't think that means that that is the actual point of death. But in any case, strength is waning. Like I said, with strength in reverse, uh, they may have had to rest more. Uh, this point, uh, there's definitely a change. I think this death card is more pointing towards the fact that he feels like, okay, we've definitely closed a chapter here. Uh, like when you go out into the wilderness with a group, you kind of carry civilization with you in your mind, even though you're in the middle of the wilderness, but you really are in the middle of the wilderness. And I think at this point, he realized that this was no longer his world that he was used to, that he was walking around in, but this was really out in the wild where he had no control and no idea where he was or where he was going. Kind of like that closing of a chapter, like, okay, this is really... All of that stuff that I'm used to having around me is no longer here. I really, really need to change my mind. And we see here the Two of Cups, which is normally like signing up to a certain uh, mindset or meeting somebody, uh, connecting with somebody. But I think this is more of a trying to connect to his new environment. Maybe even coming to terms with it, like very quickly uh just realizing his situation and trying to be okay with that or trying to find some way to be okay with that changing his mindset about the whole ordeal don't have a lot of space on this row so i'm putting these over here all right let's see what happens next for that we're going back to the wise dog tarot The Emperor on its side, okay, and we have this card, Ten of Wands, so we're very, very tired. I'm thinking 
the emperor over there is definitely somebody whom he really uh, felt has some type of authority over him and maybe somebody that he looks up to like maybe he's trying at this point trying to remember everything that this person told them but he's also feeling very tired although the ten of wands is a bit of a just carrying the last bit of the way and then I'm able to drop my load type of card so maybe he felt like he only really needed to go just a little bit further and also we're looking at a dog that looks very tired and it's nighttime behind him so I think that this is them struggling through the night and trying his best to hang on to the advice and the information that he was given by uh, somebody whom he really trusted and respected possibly not following the, vi the advice uh, quite as intended let's see queen of pentacles in reverse okay so now we're making choices that are not great we have kind of lost the energy that we had over here with this queen of pentacles here we are being very practical but here we are making decisions that are not great probably because he's tired possibly losing focus maybe um feeling like he's almost there with this ten of wands card but it's not quite true and therefore he's now using up resources that he probably shouldn't have because he thinks that he's going to make his way out and it doesn't matter anymore kind of like how they say when the horse smells the stables they start running faster kind of like that but in this case there's no stables for them at least not where he expects them to be let's see what we have here justice all right so normally they would feel like they were making the right decisions things going right for them they probably really feel like uh, they're reaching the end the correct end so to speak all of the dogs here have their eyes closed so maybe they're thinking that they're going to make it but the scales are even so it's not quite going one way or the other and then the king of swords all right so we're making some wrong decisions probably based on those assumptions they're also focusing on the fact that the dog here is laying down and maybe they felt like they should take a nap somewhere before uh dawn Maybe they wanted to get some energy back or something along those lines like they probably thought oh I'm safe now I'm just gonna take a nap here like they could have been so tired that they were kind of delirious and thought that they were headed the right direction and thought that everything was gonna be fine but we have the six of wands again so even though he had a moment thinking that he was doing good I think he then also very quickly realized that it wasn't quite what he thought it was the uh decisions he made there on the end were not for the best and the thoughts that he had about being almost home turned out to be false once again feeling really bad about himself like feeling like he let himself down i think giving him a couple more cards because so far he's just feeling really let down he's just wasted I think his final uh, bit of resources that one and the lovers all right so we're back in that two of cups energy but slightly stronger in this case um and we see the bird rising i feel almost like this is more like the pleading energy that we had before where are they two of cups uh nope not there but somewhere in here is the two of cups where he felt like he was kind of like making a connection to his new uh oh here we go two of cups right there the uh the surroundings that he was in the new situation that he was in and trying to make peace with that and now at the long line of uh disappointments basically and having a moment of bright 
activity, feeling like he had finally made it, which then turned out to be false. I think that he finally had to give in, which is where this Six of Wands again is about, uh, feeling like he's failed. And then we have just making peace with it. I feel like this is a part where he decided, you know what, it's fine. I can't go any further. Uh, I can't go back. Uh, there's nothing left for me. At this point, he didn't have his stuff anymore, so I think that he just decided that this was going to be it. Okay. That card jumped, but didn't come out. And that one jumped and definitely did come out. Okay, so I think this is the final card. Seven of Pentacles, yeah. So this is definitely chickens coming home to roost. I think this is him uh, making up the uh, the balance sheet, so to speak, of what has happened so far. And just kind of feeling like whatever happened to him were indeed the results of the things that he planted, the seeds that he sowed. And just uh, accepting that, I want to say. Also, the dog is pulling one off the vine, so I'm thinking that he is, yeah, that's definitely a form of accepting the things that have occurred as results of his actions taken. Now, are we ever going to find him, though, because we haven't seen anything of his other than his backpack and the camera? Oh. Four of cups, kind of in reverse, so there is no choice. I'm thinking this means that we're not ever really going to see anything like there's no choice but to stay in this situation I feel like there is nothing to be found anymore perhaps or is in such a place or location where people just don't think to look kind of reminds me uh, there was this game uh, back in the day called Firewatch and there was this kid who had also gone missing in that park and they had eventually been found because they fell through a very narrow crack into a cave that people hadn't been in in ages kind of like some place like that i feel like it might be where he ended up like just a place where nobody really thinks to look because it's so narrow nobody thinks that anybody's ever going to go down there or uh, they couldn't possibly have gone up there or something along those lines just a very unexpected location where nobody's going to check i think that is maybe where he is Here's the mains are now. I don't know that location obviously so I couldn't tell you Where there are places such as that along the area where he may have gone But I feel like he may be in a place like that So that is what I'm seeing for Jared Negretti uh, I hope you found it interesting in any case make sure to leave a like and a comment that really helps the channel along If you'd like to subscribe that would be very nice as well uh, Thanks very much to anybody who wants to do that I hope to see you in another video. Uh, thanks for watching and bye-bye for now.